While we're here in seated meditation pose, there's actually a lot of exercise that we can do. Um, that we might as well take advantage of the fact that we're down here. And they're, they are not necessary, they're not required, but it's a good time to really get into uh, some spots, some, some um, stretching um, that we sometimes miss when we're only doing Tai Chi or some just the, the warm-ups. Um, and it's a good way also to get, before you even start the meditation, to get the body kind of aligned and loosened and essentially ready to, to get into that meditation, right? Because if you go straight into um, your daily life, sit down and try to do meditate, your body itself has a lot of other things that it wants to do, that it needs to do in order to feel good and feel relaxed. So if you find that sitting meditation is physically painful or difficult, uh, it's probably because you need to warm up to simply the sitting itself, the physical act of sitting. So before you sit, right, as you sit, um, or before you go into meditation, you get into your sitting pose. So first of all, for a lot of people, this is as far as they'll go in terms of their knees being able to go to the ground. So this is the first thing you need to start working on, simply working on oh, loosening the hips, right? And so all I'm doing is I'm putting the my feet together right and then you can you can try to butterfly and you know, it's like butterfly wings um but you have to be very careful with that you don't want to, you want to make sure you don't put too much pressure that you don't kind of try to flap your wings too hard so you can just come here and just relax or come here and like put a little bit of pressure on the knees and just start working towards having that flexibility in the hips that allows your knees to actually touch the ground. Now, when you're when you're in this position, touching the ground. By the way, I am sitting on still on on that pillow. Um, it's my, see my knees don't even touch the ground um, in this position, but it means that when I'm in this position and I'm slightly forward, now they do touch. So the goal is not necessarily to kind of completely. But if I push, ugh, if I push. They touch, but they don't touch naturally. So this is a stretch for me, right? Ooh, so for you, if you're up here, just give a little bit, a little bit of pressure or just rates like this until your legs open up, your hips open up, right? And you can start doing this. So that's one exercise that you want to start getting into. The other one is simply loosening up your back. And so from here, we can turn and turn, right, and look over your shoulder, and gently t turn and look over your shoulder. And then you can take it further, you can notice that before I'm using my hands, right, so I'm crossing the body, using my own knee as a leverage point, right, so you can just do it easily, just here, and here, and then if you want to go further, reach back, and turn, reach back, and turn. And you can even make your back crack, but basically you're in the same sitting position, but you're twisting the spine, right? And you're twisting the spine. When you're here also, don't be afraid of engaging the shoulders, right? So that you're giving your shoulders a chance to relax. So not just, because especially if you've been tight the entire day, you know, you want just Dropping your shoulders might not happen immediately, so you want to make sure that you, you roll the shoulders forward and back. Right? You can roll forward and back, or back and forward, right? which basically all I'm doing is I'm rotating the hips and rounding the back and then stretching forward. So again, just getting the spine to move, getting the spine, a chance, all the muscles around it, a chance to kind of move, warm up before you're going to do and sit, before you're going to sit. All right, so lateral, lateral. You can also go forward, right? And you can try to essentially bring your forehead to the ground. Um, be careful with your back. So don't just lean forward and kind of try to headbutt the ground. Use your hands. Then if you can go far enough, you use your elbows as support so you can just sit here. And breathe. And allow your lower back to relax. Right. So when 
your, you feel that your lower back has relaxed enough, you can start moving forward a bit. And that gives you a little more of a stretch. And then relax. Breathe. And when you feel your back is relaxed enough, you can start scooting forward. Or you can just be up here. And just relax. And move up here. And feel the spine lengthen, essentially. Right. Again, you want to take deep breaths in between. You don't want to force this or make this too fast. You just want to slyly, slowly and gently move forward until you feel you folded as far as you're going to go and just take a few moments to, to rest. And then you can take that same position but take it over the knee so that you have a nice long stretch of the lower back. And you can take it to the other side. Right, so you're folding over the knee. You use your hands to brace yourself so that you're not putting too much pressure. So you're, you're getting the stretch from the relaxation. Not, not because you're putting pressure, not because you're using the weight of your body to lean, to lean you forward. You're relaxing into the position. So here, again, this if you don't have a lot of mobility in the back, it'd be better to be here and just slowly and gently Breathe, relax, and as you, as you get more and more relaxed, you can go further and further down, but you're using your hands to support yourself so you're not hurting yourself, right? So that's some of the exercises that you can do. You do those before you sit to meditate. So once you've done those, and also, if you want, you can also you know, length, uh, straighten your legs. Right, try to touch your toes. Bring one foot in. Right, and then reach for that toe so that you're stretching. And again, nice and slow, nice and relaxed. All right, and then switch, grab your toe, grab, it can be your knee. Again, you can just lean on your own leg. All right, your hand only goes as far as it needs to in order to give you the stretch. It's a nice stretch. Ooh. And then you can do it with both legs forward. Right. So all of that so that you've warmed up essentially the, the whole area that you're gonna be that is going to be used to hold you up. Right? So the spine now is has been warmed up, the the muscles around the spine, the muscles around the hips have been warmed up and stretched. Nice and gentle. You're just gonna go at your own pace just to Kind of feel a little that release, feel a little, that warmth and support now of the muscles that have been activated, especially if it's other first thing in the morning, you've been asleep. So you want to um, kind of warm everything up <clears throat> or after a hard day of work, you want to make sure you've stretched and warmed everything up before, um, before you launch into a meditation because now everything is good. Now you can come here. And now you can start your meditation.